I know. And then I told him, you're crazy. Am I right? Oh, hi guys. Um, it's Rachel here in a different kitchen setting. You can't really see much of it right now, but this is the, the new kitchen. And here I have my cooking with Rachel subject tonight. What is this that you might ask? Um, it is a spaghetti squash. And in a short amount of time, I will show you why they call it a spaghetti squash. But for now, I am going to show you how to cook it. So, um, step number one is uh, you can, there's lots of ways that you can actually cook the squash. Um, I'm going to cook it in halves. Like, you can cook the whole thing by itself in the oven, um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it in halves. So with the magic of the camera and the computer, you will see what it looks like when I cut this in half. Okie dokie. So, I have cut this in half, and as you see, um, this is what you end up with. And this is what we want to have. So what you do to get this from this is um, just take a tablespoon and uh, kind of like when you carve a pumpkin on Halloween, you just want to scoop out all these uh, fibers and seeds. And um, these seeds are light pumpkin seeds if you want. Um, you can keep them and actually fry them and they're pretty good for a little snack but I'm just going to throw these out because I don't really have any need to keep them. Although I have had fried pumpkin seeds before and they are delicious. So um, to cook this in halves like the way that I'm doing it, um, what you want to do when you get all the pulpy seedy goodness out of the inside of this um, is you want to put it um, rind side up, so that'll be your cut side down, onto a baking pan, and you want to throw that into, um, I think probably like a 375 or so oven, and um, you, you let that kind of, I guess, roast in the oven, cook in the oven, uh, probably about, oh, 40 minutes or so, um, to really, to know for sure when it's done. You, you want to like push a fork or a knife into the outside of it and when it comes out clean or when it pierces the skin easily that's when you know it's done. So let me put this on a baking pan and I will show you what we're gonna do. Okay so I've got my squash on a baking pan and see how the, the rind is facing up and the cut side is down. I'm gonna put these inside my oven oh, which is set to 375 in the and we will be cooking these for, we're going to start off with 30 minutes and then I'll just check it and see um, if I think it's done or not. And if not, I'll, you know, I may put it in there for a little bit more. So, um, while the squash is cooking, I will show you how to make a sauce. Okay, so, on my stove top, the first thing I'm going to do is I am browning some meat. Now, you can use any kind of meat you want if you like, you know, like ground beef or whatever, you can use that. Um, just to make this a more healthy recipe, I am using this um, Italian style ground turkey meat. Um, I'm not sure exactly how lean it is, but um, you know, you can use whatever, 93.7. I like, uh, when I cook, I like to use 85.15 because it has a little bit more flavor. Um, but this one is Italian seasoned, so it's got some seasonings already in the meat, and I thought, well, since I'm making like a a meat sauce, so uh, maybe I might as well have some seasonings in it. So, we're going to brown this up, and then we will come back and I'll show you what to do after the meat gets brown. Alrighty, brown. sorry, I had to switch positions and switch pans. Um, as you can see, we've got our meat browned up pretty darn well. So now what I'm going to do is, um, sometimes I make my own tomato sauce with, um, I just use tomato paste and I thin it down with a little bit of uh, water. But today I'm just going to use tomato sauce and it's all natural. And I think I'm going to, I'll probably just use this whole pan. Um, you know, anything I have extra of. I'll just, yeah. Anyway, I, so I don't buy like the spaghetti sauce or all that mess because a lot of it has a lot of added sugar to it. And the nice thing about just plain Jane tomato sauce is um, it doesn't have all that extra sugar, extra stuff, 
And if you want it to have seasoning in it, which is why most people buy like spaghetti sauce, um, you just add it yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do. So um, got the tomato sauce in there. Got everything mixed up pretty good. So hopefully now that'll start to warm up a little bit. I turned my oven down because I, I browned it kind of high, and I don't want it to be real, you know, up there real, real high. Um, so let's see what spices do I want to add. Definitely, probably gonna put some oregano. Um, I'm probably gonna do some basil as well if I can find it. Yep, there's my basil. Basil. Um, of course, some salt and pepper. And I will probably do some garlic too, maybe some onion powder, I don't know. It's kind of a trial thing. Um, you know, whatever you like, whatever you think tastes good, throw it in there. Um, and then, you know, always, less is more a lot of times. And you can always add things in, but you can never take things out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off real slow, probably with, oh, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of each of these, so. That's half a teaspoon of the oregano, and we'll go ahead and do half a teaspoon of the basil as well. And this is a, this will give us a nice Italian flavoring. Um, may as well throw half a teaspoon of garlic powder, maybe a little less than that because you don't want it to be like way garlicky, you know. Um, probably won't do as much of the black pepper. Just a uh, I'm gonna eyeball, I'm just gonna sprinkle it all around. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, because you just, you don't want it to be too, you know, peppery. Um, and then we'll do just a little bit of salt. And this is, this is light salt. Um, so we'll give that a little stirring up, and then I'll taste it and see how it tastes, see if I need to add anything, or see if I feel like I need to add anything. Meanwhile, our squash is roasting in the pan. So let's see. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. I think there's a quite a bit of sauce though, so I may just go ahead and do a little bit extra of everything else since there's so much sauce in it. Um, and then once again, you know, I do have the Italian seasoned meat, so I probably don't need to go crazy overboard with the spices just because the meat's already seasoned too, and I don't want it to be like overkill of Italian seasoning. Although, you know, the squash itself is kind of bland and so it would lend itself to, you know, the flavors of, you know, whatever you put on it. The sauce in this case. So, throw that in. Give it another little stir up. And I think that'll probably be good because I don't want it, you know, like I said, I don't want it too seasoned. But I want it to be flavorful because the boyfriend is a food critic. Not seriously but he likes to criticize everything you know and um, I want him to like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the heat on this pretty much you know just high enough to keep it warm um, because I just want it to stay warm while my squash finishes cooking so um, that's gonna be it for now when the squash gets done cooking I will um, show you what you do to make the spaghetti noodles so stay tuned for that okay well this is done cooking now and I just wanted to show you guys you take a fork and you go from like one end to the other and look how this comes out it's like noodles pretty cool huh so I'll just put my little sauce on top of this and we'll be that probably with a little parmesan cheese too out the top. But I hope you guys like this. You've tried it out. Let me know how you like it. It's really good. It's really easy. And I'll see you later. Bye.